Hello there everyone and welcome back to Project Valid Jordan, which we're playing as the Rebel Alliance. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover, but we gotta talk about the mining incident on Jeddah. Imperial correspondents in the Jeddah system report that the system has been subjected to a catastrophic mining incident, resulting in a large section of the planet to be destroyed. Well, some skeptics believe that the disaster was instead caused by some sort of never-before-seen Imperial super weapon. However, both Imperial and Mining Guild officials state that such ideas are baseless in nature, and are simply lies distributed by the rebels in order to capitalize on a tragic disaster. What a terrible tragedy is. Right now, we're training a couple guys here. We won't invade. We actually were able to, I, since I already played this since the end of the last episode, we were able to take this group out. Our guys are mightily thick, with a lot of uh, infantry, artillery, anti-tank, sometimes a bit too thick, and we're transporting a lot of soldiers down here to see if we can take out the Ryloth Protectorate and hopefully not die while doing this as we're besieging all this area here. And it is 1002. Hope you're having a good year. Right now, we are also, uh, what are we doing? We're doing Moncala Shipyard Deals. Maybe we'll do some new base construction drives. And then we're going to continue with a uh, approach Groundskeeper, Operation Tyrant, like we read last time. And then Mission uh, Shu Torun. Masasi of officers and some of the higher rebel command officers will die in the battle. Our tire is Jean Dodana. Dodana. Yeah, well, there's a couple of people here and there, you know. But you know, things happen. So what do we got here? So we're down here. Now, can we push out this way? Overall, yes. As we are getting attacked ourselves. Rail interception, very nice. Uh, let me some of this real quick and do that. Very nice. Now, we're continuing to raid enemies, even though we have no fuel, but we're working on it. Oh, also, we have 29 because they did combine a few divisions together here, so. Fuel refining, and we like more fuel. Moncala ship deals, Rogue One. Uh, well, they're already at war with us. Improve hydro fuel stuff, yes. So we've got some heavy ships, destroyers, carriers, heavy ships. Uh, could probably use more than just 1936 ships, in all honesty. But we're gonna go with that for now. So what if? So they're suffering from attrition, which is nice to see. It's fantastic to see, actually. Can you guys do it here? That's cool. As long as we don't suffer attrition, that's what I really care about. You're actually getting attacked there, huh? I also throw the entire army here. Now they really want to attack us. And we're suffering a little bit of attrition now. That's not ideal. Can you guys do this, maybe? Take them out, beat them up a little bit? They're funneling a lot of soldiers in and out. Um, Andor and K2SO. No, we lost. Oh, god dang it. That sucks. Can you do anything here? They attack us, we attack them, yes. So, we we're losing a lot of organization. They got a lot of org. Yeah, we have a little bit less. Just a little bit less than them. Some of them might help. Put more bases around here. Staffers are done, nice. I don't think we'll need to get this one done soon, but you know, we're here for it anyways. Research for this. Speed, agility, yes, please. That'd be nice. Hello. They literally just invaded us from behind. Bruh. Homie beacons, nice, very good. Yes. Ideal, yes. Speed or range? Um. Let's go with speed. We like to be fast. Virtual grounds give operation tyrant. Yes. Diplomatic training is good. Free merchants jo uh, guild joins. A united front for a united front strengthened on a path towards victory. Very good. Good job, guys. Supply scavengers. We could try that. There you go. Guess any whatever. What else we got here? Appoint William Burke as Admiral? No, we can't quite do that yet, can we? I don't think we can take that one yet. That's pretty difficult to take. Galactic Empire, uh, oh god. That's not good when they have a lot of experience here. Why is that? Hello. Okay, we sunk six carriers. Destroyers, nice. Oh, hello, see? They always try to invade at different spots, and that's not good. 
sometimes. There you go, help him out. Jurando, yes. Some of this, yes. Do we have any docks? Yes, we found some docks. Okay, that helped a lot with supply. Which is finally very nice. Anything here? Uh, can you go back and beat him up? Uh, let's get him to turn empty handed. That sucks. Well, fighters and close air support. Recons are nice. More research spe speed, perhaps? No, we lost. Their intel must be just so high then. Because we constantly have what? We do have air superiority, which is nice. Of course, we do have an organization, dissolution of the Senate. Earlier today, Emperor Palpatine announced his intentions to dissolve the Imperial Senate, citing increasing acti resistance activity across multiple sectors as a primary factor in his decision to do so. As a result of his decision, power will be transferred directly to the Emperor himself and will be de delegated to the military governors underneath him. While such a move has been anticipated by senators and political experts alike, some senators made the disapproval of the move known, urging the Emperor to reconsider it. Those pesky bureaucrats will no longer bother us. Some serious supply here. There you go. Operation Tyrant. Mission Shu Torn. Good. Keep working on that fuel. Hey. An operation drafted by a rebel officer to board an Imperial Star Destroyer to steal it from the inside, and the collaborating Imperial officer to bring a new ship into our ever growing star fleet. Long wait of planning, and working with Imperial officers resulted in us adding the atonement to the cause. A fine addition to the fleet, if we do say so ourselves. Hey, look at these guys. Actually came out. Look at that. Um, I want. I would like to make another uh, uh, fleet. So we're doing okay here. Of course, it would help if we were like trying to destroy all the combos in here too. But beggars can't be choosers. They lost again. No. Pretty normal. Uh, oh, that's not ideal. It's very much not ideal at all. There you go. You're back. Good. Welcome back. Good. Uh, that's not ideal. We gotta take him out as well. Um, not much we can do there. We did that already. It's fine. I don't sure if we really need that, but whatever. Oh, we can use that though. Supply base, why not? Convoys lost. Sure. Now let's show you the casualty so far. We've lost quite a few guys, but we've killed off quite a few of the enemies, which is pretty nice. Of course, there's nothing near what we really need, but it is what it is. Now, if you take this tile, that'd be the most important one. Yeah, I wish you got the product protector figured out, huh? So now they're melting. Oh, it helps that I have literally no fuel. Or infantry equipment, too. I guess I would do it, you know. Let's go on over here. Sure, we can hit him a little harder. That'd be great. Um, nice, here. Come back for us. Go to his militia. That's not good.
Oh, he must have had a serious naval battle. Holy crap. Brazia? Oh. Oh, uh, Grand New Army. Or Huaba Neva. The female Solstinist, or Sulistan, daughter of a Soro Su board member and the former graduate of the Imperial Academy, has been growing to satisfy the Galactic Empire Shreeman. She was contacted on her behalf from Solstin political leader Tian Tav about defecting and joining the cause of the rebels. Dude, you go over there. The mission. In a bitter secret venture, Queen Trio's betrayal at Makno, Mako Ta, Leia Organa led a mission to the planet of the Shu Toron to destroy the power generation capability of uh, the Spike. Ultimately successful in their goals, uh, Shu Toron has decided to retaliate by officially joining the Empire in the Galactic Civil War. In addition, addition partisan forces aiding with the mission went beyond the mission parameters, which resulted in the greater civilian casualties anticipated. Well, that sucks. But we're doing really well here, actually. Hey, we got him. Re Free Ryloth. Now, invading here is going to be a pain in the tuchus, is it not? So, how are we supposed to help invade? Where was it? Somewhere here. Oh, you're here. There you are. Galactic Empire is going to be impossible to invade, it seems like. You know, the Navy or the resources would really do what we want to do here. And I don't think invading them would be really easy. We're going to do new base construction drive, defensive measures. And partial occupation. That'd be nice. Uh, maybe Rogue. Maybe Rogue One. Rally the 61st Mobile Infantry. Maybe Operation Ringbreaker eventually. Of course, we still need to do some over here, like New Republican Provisional Council. I think that'd be pretty good overall. And then we've got like Corey of Moncala. The famous Moncala Mari uh, starship engineer has been living on the remote world of Shentipol. We are slowly falling behind in the TIE Fighter or Starfighter engineer rate with the whispers of the new TIE series coming out. Quarries are support in developing a brand new heavy bomber star power to greatly sway the favor of the fighter war in our favor. Well, as soon as I faded out, we have the destruction of Alderaan. Today the galaxy stood starstruck at the destruction of Alderaan to the hands of Imperial forces. The core role was not notoriously labeled as a safe role by rebel cells as Senator Bail Organos famously in cahoots with figures such as Mon Mothma, Jean Dodana, and the infamous Admiral Radus. The finer details are not yet fully known, but it can be sure to say that Grand Moff Tarkin was at the head of this operation, as he was allegedly stationed near the point of fire by the superweapon. We'll make those imps pay. The Imperial destruction of Alderaan is shocked, and angered those throughout the entirety of the rebellion. The planet's citizens were always sympathetic towards the rebe rebel cause and did everything they could to assist the cause. The planet's destruction will be forever missed by those throughout the galaxy. The death of Bail Organa has certainly made things difficult, but certainly not impossible due to the establishment of the Provisional Council. There's no doubt that without it, the Rebel Alliance would not be as prepared as it currently is. It is a dark day for the galaxy indeed. We may we honor their deaths. Twilight's company, or uh, proposal, in a meeting with the Rebel Council, the leader of Twilight Company, Mitya Avon, proposed a shocking plan to strike against the Empire. It proceeded that his or proposed that his company, alongside others, attack the Imperial shipbuilding world of Kwai. He argued that the Imperials would never expect an attack on a planet so far in the core worlds and a successful would have a devastating effect on Imperial shipbuilding. Let him proceed. So we've done a lot of focuses, we've invaded a lot of planets, we're doing Rogue One finally, and then we're going to, I trust her with my life, um, mission to Scarif, in order to recover plans of the Death Star, which contain the supposed fatal flaw described by Galen Erso. A large group of rebels have taken upon themselves to participate in a raiding party to the Imperial planet of Scarif. In addition to Captain Andor and Jin Erso, Admiral Radus and Antok Merrick. Let's hope we make the correct choice. As we have been just literally just invading a lot of planets. Casualty list. We've suffered half a million. Um, some of our guys have capitulated, which is unfortunate. Did we lose that planet again? But we've also capitulated some of the other uh, cities too, so. Uh, we're looking okay. Galactic Empire, 32% towards capitulation. They've lost a lot, and they've lost a total of almost 3 million soldiers. Um, just because we've been grinding pretty much the entire time here. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. And overall, it's not bad at this point. The, the Galactic Empire. They still have a few core worlds that are kind of difficult to take out, but our Navy's actually doing really well. It's actually doing very, 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 very well. So, I trust her with my life, though. And the Yavin Gambit. Volunteering to receive and transport the Death Star plans from Scarif to our base on Yavin 4, Princess Leia Organa of Alderaan will be accompanying rebel forces on the raid of Scarif. Despite having been advised against the move due to the dangers of the mission by Senator Bail Organa, she's determined to transfer the plans. May the force be with him. I was trying to invade here too. So, 
News from the Yavin system shocked the galaxy today with reports from Imperial forces in the system indicating the destruction of the DS-1 mobile battle station. Numerous high-ranking Imperial officials were reported to have been aboard the station including Grand Moff Will Huff Tarkin. While no official statement from the Imperial Navy has been released as of yet, uh, the lack of an apparent appearance from Grand Moff Tarkin appears to all but confirm those reports. A close call. Further inspection, interceptor development, fun gunship development. I like that, but we're going to go with this one. 70 days and see if we can actually invade, maybe. Oh, maybe not. Oh, not ideal. How many guys do they have there? So, what that tells me is that we need to get a little bit closer. And, uh... Hmm. That might work a little better, actually. We're going to be here, here, here. Uh, I don't do these worlds yet. So, honestly, a lot of this is just me grinding away and and destroying enemy divisions and whatnot. So, there are these focuses. We've got new mo a new class modernization projects. Um, and I'll, I'll, Honestly, a lot of this stuff doesn't even have descriptions yet, so... I guess we can do a quick and decisive first, though. That probably makes sense. Um, where are we at? The numerical advantage enjoyed by the chief opponent to Alliance Army commanders were taught to avoid straight-up slugging matches against the Imperial Army. We could always guarantee victory by bringing in more reinforcements instead. Commanders were used to, were to use speed and force concentration to overpower smaller Imperial forces and achieve decisive a victory quickly. They are also taught to preserve the limited forces as much as possible. If a battle looked to be turning against them, retreating with an attack force was preferable to a Pyrrhic victory. And we've got psychological warfare. Commanders are also taught to use psychological warfare to break the enemy's morale prior to battle. If the enemy was afraid of the rebels' fierceness and unpredictability, they were more likely to make mistakes such as overreacting to a fame. Conversely, keeping morale among their own troops was seen as critical towards winning battles and intelligent risks. Imperial army commanders are viewed as being uncreative by the rebels, using outdated by the book, tactics learned in the academy. Alliance army commanders were encouraged to take intelligent risks, to learn the same tactics, and come up with an unorthodox way of defeating them. Most imperial commanders could more easily be defeated if faced with an unexpected situation for which there was no conventional solution. So, which is fantastic. And so, the basically, island hopping, or uh, planet hopping, continues. Um, right now, well, we're, we've landed, and there's no, there's no one here. We took the Imperial City. Um, yeah. Well, we found somebody. Who is this? The Wet Weather Legion. Yeah, take your time going through there. Because we're going to need all this stuff, too. So. Uh, oh, hey! Would you look at that? We actually got them all. Well, I guess we got to do what... Uh, oh, God. We can't select all of them, huh? I'd say we did probably most of the work. I'm sorry I didn't show you a lot of it, but it's literally just me island hopping. It's like playing as the United States in the Pacific. You know, in the uh, vanilla. Now I'm just waiting for... Can I submit to bands? Come on. God dang it. Give a second here. And there we go. We're going to take whatever we can. I think we deserve it, you know? Could be wrong. But you never know. Yeah, we don't have very much. Good enough. Oh, the Empire's dead. Wow, we got a lot of plans for us now. Um, we're doing a new Grand Army, even though the war's over. Uh, demand galactic recognition, remove low legitimacy, I mean, I guess. A new generation of officers, promotion of Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Chewbacca becomes a ground hero, invasion of the... Oh. Invasion of the core. Well. Alright, um... Goodbye, I guess. I mean, that's... So we got, I guess, uh, I'll see you when we are going to remove that. We'll have new generation officers, new Republic decisions. 
Oh, we need to control the Imperial City. Well, we'll be known as the New Republic. We gained a lot of cores. And add bureaucratic oversight. I guess we'll probably do that off screen as well. So at this point, I just used cons commands and I also did aiding the Celestine resistance, the liberation of Solus, the mercantile fleet, as well as the liberation of Moncala, but we're getting on life support. Engage in dialogue with Grand Admiral Doris Urtia, the current regent of Moncala and the commander of the fleet. The rebels propose a strategic militarization of the fleet. They want to transition this cruiser into powerful warships, yet the Mon Calamari, steeped in reluctance and denied the proposition. They confirmed that their stance could potentially shift if they were successful in liberating their former king from his imprisonment. Determined, the rebels embarked on a daring mission to infiltrate the king's prison on Strokill Prime, where they met with a shocking revelation. King Lee Char was in a compromised state, kept alive by life support. They were however, able to prompt the ailing king to deliver a message to his subjects. In his final moments, the king urged his people to stand firm against the empire. Governor kidnapped. They are gone and mastermind a daring strategy to rally the Moncala to the alliance to restore the Republic. The linchpin of this plan was the liberation of King. Oh, whoopsie. I shouldn't have read this one first. Uh, sorry, second. Uh, liberation of King Lee Char from the high security confines of Stroke Hill Prime. Organa's persuasion prevailed and she secured approval for a plan from the Alliance High Command. The rebels launched a stealth operation of the Mon Caladrome, their eyes set on the daring gold kidnapping Moth Tan Hubi, the ruling official of the sector. The tale was for Tonga Aparagian to impersonate Hubi, while the rebels orchestrated the king's liberation, assisted by the droid C3PO and R2D2. They successfully drugged Hubi at the Opera House, rendering him unconscious in the restroom. Arpagian shapeshifted into Hubi and tried to blend in, however. Queen Trios of Shu Toron and Urtia began to have suspicions about him. Despite this, C-3PO provided Arapagian with well-chosen lines that helped to maintain his cover. The situation took a firm for the worse when stormtroopers burst in, declaring the mob to be an imposter, yet a telling power search provided the necessary cover for the narrow escape. It's a close call. The mercantile fleet joins the ranks in the aftermath of the king's address and disaster ensued. A blast from a stormtrooper's blaster claimed his life. The rebels in their agility managed to escape carrying with them the king's parting words. They were handed to Urtia, who broadcasted the news to the uh, fleet captains. The Mon Calamari crews were moved by the king's final address and the grim revelations of his demise at the hands of the Empire. As message traveled through the ships, a wave of rebellion surged. The Mon Calamari crews arose in defiance, overthrown the Empire's presence on board, yet caught off guard by the premature transmission of the message. The Mon Cala found themselves ill-prepared on sporting. Their rebellion drew the attention of the Admiral Tyrus and Maori's Imperial Navy forces, who swiftly blockaded the ships. In the midst of this peril, a beacon of hope emerged. The rebel ships, under the command of Admiral Gyal Akbar, swooped in to rescue the isolated Mon Cala. Akbar instructed Captain Tsaik Lila of the Aurora Flare to make the ultimate sacrifice to detonate her ship loaded with coaxium. She agreed, and the resulting explosion shattered the blockade, creating a path for the Mon Cala ships to make their escape. Twelve new ships joined her fleet. This will strengthen her cause. Oh, that's cool. Wait, we got nine, though. What? Well, it is what it is, and we took out the Empire the old-fashioned way, with brute strength. Who knew we could be so strong? Oh, we can only... Th oh, that sucks. I guess we're also researching tanks here. Um, obviously, at this point, it doesn't really matter, but, you know, it is what it is. And a uh, new generation of boxers, shall we? Oh, look at the New Republic. Promotion of Han Solo. Oh, we have the New Republic. Look at that. Due to the exemplary efforts and performance of the Battle of Yavin and returning Princess Leia to Alliance forces, the Rebel Council decided to officially recognize Solo as a member of the Rebellion. She was specialized in commanding troops for naval deployments. Naval units. Well, I don't need any more. Oh, as well as Luke Skywalker. He can be on the ground. Now, yeah, let's see what decisions we get for the uh, new core new world and whatnot. Add units to template infiltrators. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Interesting. Kashyyyk, rookie base. Oh, yeah, I got a lot of compliance. That's good. Kashyyyk resistance. I don't think they have a focus. Oh, it's a generic focus, it looks like. It's alright. Inspire resistance and solist. Oh. Liberation of Moncala. Integrating. Oh, 500. Wow. Okay, so you get free cores then. Oh, cut for 500 political power. So that's interesting, but I think I'm going to end it there because there's really nothing else we can add here. So, um, hey, if you enjoy the campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Oh, I forgot about the ships. Uh, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.